Hello tea lovers, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. Daji Hao! Hello everyone, it's a girl Tandem. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any videos. It's been hectic at school. I don't want to lie, it's the first time I've experienced such pressure. But I have managed to nail down my schedule, so I will be back with popular demand. Today, I want to speak to you about how it is to be in China, to live in China actually. Day-to-day -day problems or solutions, experiences. But do take note, I'm only speaking about where I am. So this is my experience. It's not China in general, but it's about where I am and what I have experienced over the how many now uh eight months nine months i lost count yes over the time i've been here so the first and the foremost is how is the food in china wow okay firstly it is totally different from what you are currently used to especially if you are in south africa it is way different there are a lot of vegetables that you will find that you've never eaten or never heard of never seen before you will find that they love a uh, hot and spicy food you do get a choice but i'm um, in a small town there's not much of a choice here but in bigger towns you do get your kfc's your mcdonald's your walmart stores so you can like get off a western feel but in small counties they have traditional food they cook a lot of traditional food that is your noodles um noodles that they make themselves not the noodles that you are used to buying at the shop or whatever two minute noodles no not those noodles they make they hand make their noodles and they they have they like to cook dumplings in a different way i found out when i came here that i have been cooking dumplings the wrong way but story for another day they like dumplings they um they saw their own rice so it tastes and it looks different from the rice that you are currently used to they don't have well in my county we don't have a uh, maize meal and we don't have amasi which is quite sad. No maize meal, no amas. Oh my goodness. <sighs> but anyways, I will get used to it. I don't know how because we are approaching summer and it gets pretty heated up in China, especially in the south and I'm in the south. Okay, story for another day. The food is hot and spicy. It will bore you but you can adapt you can buy food and cook for yourself but bear in mind that when you are going to buy food especially if you want to buy spices and whatnot you have to bring your phone and you have to literally translate things to your own liking because most of the food they're selling is hot and spicy as i mentioned but they do have mild spices but if you don't know how to read chinese and you just don't know how to even communicate with them you have to bring your phone to help you narrow it down so you literally will have to take pictures go to google translate and take that picture from your gallery and translate or you can just hold out whatever you want to buy and then see if you are buying what you want but if you do get a hang of it, you will be able to cook nice food for you that is not hot and spicy. Um, what else? Let's speak about how people behave around you. I haven't had any racial comments or racial um, acts or people just trying to ill treat me. No, I won't lie. I've never had that before. I haven't experienced that in my county. What I have experienced, however, is that people stare at me. They stare like for a long time. It's rude to stare at people, I know, but here it's normal. And I have grown to actually accept it. 
I am a work a walking history experience for them. I am making history in this small town because 95 97 percent of the people here they've never seen a foreigner to be specific a black foreigner and they stare at me there's this one time i went to uh, well most of the time when i go to the supermarket to buy groceries or whatever um if i this time i was carrying my my uh grocery basket so i'm pulling the basket and then these two old ladies uh come to me I was I, I had stopped at an aisle looking for something so they literally come to my basket and then they start picking up my food like to see oh she eats this she eats this she eats that so I guess they were really um, <clears throat> curious about what I eat do I even eat maybe they were asking themselves if does she even eat what does she eat my goodness so they started picking up my food and looking and then telling each other oh she eats that and that and then yeah it is annoying but it's something that you're gonna have to get used to it especially if you are in a small county you will have to find your way to mute everything around you when you step out of your apartment and go outside because they will forever stare at you and yeah that was one experience um they 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 just look at you man they like to make comments about my hair and to be quite fair i haven't actually made it um easy for myself because i frequently change my hairstyles simply because i have a very sensitive skin and i can't keep something for a very long time so each and every time i change my hair and the one thing that uh, makes them marvel at me is the fact that i have a different sense of fashion style and my hair looks different like most of the time and to them they have the same thing if um maybe this month or this term they want to cut their hair short I definitely and wanted in to say fringe hairstyle short but I like forgot that the word. they will all do the same thing if uh they it's winter like previously they will buy long coats like long to your ankle coats no one wants to come up with a different style because that's how chinese are they like to look the same and you come with this different style of yourself so they will definitely look at you they look at you if you how are you breathing how you laugh how you walk how you are dressed how you look how you walk what you use to get around i use a bicycle they will stare at you no matter what the minute you step out of your apartment people are already staring it's like paparazzi all over again you are like a famous a famous little uh person in wherever you are you are in a small county however if you are in a big CT, you are very fortunate they are already used to people like you maybe you'll have one or two different things that you're doing but they know of you they are used to you but in a small county my goodness they will follow you home ask you where you live um they will uh, compliment you a lot they won't compliment you what i found uh to be actually rude and annoying is that the teenagers they just laugh at you and point at you and laugh at you for no reason but that used to bother me back then when i was still new i, was, I would like think to myself what are they laughing at why are they looking at me and pointing and laughing and then i realized they're just being teenagers whatever it is i have it's different from them so they find it funny it's weird and stupid but so i normally when i go out to do groceries specifically i normally put on my headsets and i mute everyone around me i don't want to hear you i don't want to look at you oh and another thing is that um, the people at the supermarkets, they like to help in general. They like to help, they will follow you, but they know that there's a language barrier and they'll be speaking to you in Chinese. 
And I'm like, woman, I'm speaking English, you speaking Chinese. Um, we can't help each other, you can't help me, and I didn't even ask for your help. If I do ask for your help, I will definitely use my phone to translate. But now you've been following me around, suggesting everything I touch, you suggest this, I touch something, maybe if you're shopping for um, detergent, they always have preferred detergents, but normally it's um, it, it has to do with sales, I understand, but stop following me around i even hate that thing back home when i go to a, a shop or a supermarket and then someone is following me around babe if i need help i will call you and ask you stop following me around you making me uncomfortable now it's even worse i don't even understand what you're saying you don't understand what i'm saying <sighs> my goodness but with that being said people is it difficult no is it annoying at times yes it is annoying will you get used to it definitely will you find ways to make the best of it yes if you want to you will but you will definitely survive in china especially if you are new and you are in a small county and yeah man Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. Thank you. Goodbye.